Hello everyone and welcome back to another video from 2 minute tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to download the video leap application on your PC. So let's get started right away. First of all, you will need to know that there is no official application for the PC from video leap. So to do this, you will need to install an Android emulator first. There are many options available like Bluestacks, LD Player and many more. So let's just go ahead and pick one. And once the download is completed, we can open up the installer and simply scroll through the install button to complete the installation process. Once the installation is complete, you can go ahead and open up the Android emulator and then start setting up the resources to use Video Leap. And this involves signing up to your Google account so that you can download the application from the Google Play Store. Now once the emulator is opened up, go ahead and open up the Google Play Store and just search for Video Leap. Once you find the application, just go ahead and click on it and then click on the install button to install the application. You might be asked to sign in to your Google account, so click on the sign in button and proceed with logging in to your Google account. And once you log in to your Google account, you can click on the install button and this will begin the download and installation of the Video Leap application on your PC. Just wait for a while until the download and installation is complete. And once it's done, you will see a notification which tells you that the installation has successfully completed. Just wait for a while until you see the open button and when you do, you can click on it and this will open up the Video Leap application on your PC. How to sign up and create a new account with Video Leap. So let's get started right away. First of all, just go ahead and open up your web browser and then in the address bar, just type in videoleapapp.com and press enter. This will now take you into the official website for Video Leap. Now in order to sign up and create a new account, simply click on the start free trial button at the top right corner. This will then take you into the sign up section. Now from the sign up page, you have four different options to sign up and create a new account. You can do this using your Google, your email address, your Facebook or your Apple account if you're on iOS. Simply click on any one of those options which might be suitable for you. If you select sign up with Google, you will need to select your Google account or sign in to your Google account if you haven't done so already. Now you will be given some instructions about how the trial works. Click on the continue button and now you will be asked to download the application. You can click on get it on Google Play or the iOS App Store and then click on the install button and then from there you can install the application and fill up your payment information. And there you have it. That is how easy it is to sign up and create a new account with Video Leap. How to log in to your existing account on Video Leap. So let's get started right away. First of all, if you're on your desktop, just go ahead and open up your web browser and then in the address bar, just type in videoleapapp.com and press enter. This will now take you into the official website for Video Leap. Now, in order to log in to your existing account, simply click on the My Account option at the top right corner and then click on Login to Video Leap Web. This will then take you into the sign in page where you can click on the Login button at the top right corner to proceed with logging into your account. Now if you created your account using your Google, your Facebook or your Apple account, you can click on the respective buttons. In case you use your email address, click on login with email and then enter your email address and password to log in. Just click on whichever option is appropriate for you and proceed with your credentials. And now you will be logged in to the Video Leap web application. And there you have it. That is how easy it is to sign in to your existing account on Video Leap. How to add captions in Video Leap. So let's get started right away. First of all, just go ahead and open up the Video Leap application and then log in to your account if you haven't done so already. Once you are logged in to your account, you will be shown various videos at the home screen. In order to work on your video, you can simply tap on the plus icon and then work on a new project or you can tap on projects to open up your recent work. Now, once you're inside the editor menu, you can add any kinds of caption by tapping the text option. Just tap on it and now you will see that you will be given a text editor. You can simply drag and resize your caption and also set up fonts 
animation settings and everything else that you wish to. Once you set up your text position and the fonts, you can just double tap and then type in your text. You can then proceed forward and then resize how long you want the text to appear for. You can then continue this process and add more text throughout your entire video and resize and edit them as you wish. When you're done, you can tap on the export button and export your videos after saving your settings. And there you have it. That is how easy it is to add captions to your video on Video Leap. How to add fade outs to your video on Video Leap. So let's get started right away. First of all, just tap on the Video Leap application and then log into your account if you haven't done so already using your credentials. Now, once you are logged in, you can either tap on the plus icon to work on a new project or you can tap on the projects to go back to your recent work. Once you are inside the edit screen, you will be able to add various transitions such as fade out into your clip. Just go ahead and tap on the video clip where you want to add fade out and then from the options at the bottom, slide towards the right and then tap on adjust. Now, once you tap on the video where you want to set up your fade out, just go ahead and tap on animations. Now, since fade out is an out animation, just tap on the out option. And now from the out options, you will be able to find the fade out option. Just go ahead and tap on it. And now you can set the duration from the slider in which you want to apply the fade out. And now after selecting your duration, your fade out will be applied to the video. And there you have it. That is how easy it is to add fade outs to your video on Video Leap. How to crop your videos on Video Leap. So let's get started right away. First of all, just open up the Video Leap application and then log into your account if you haven't done so already by using your credentials. Now from the home page, you can tap on the plus icon to work on a new project or go back to your recent work by tapping on projects and selecting your project. Once you are inside the edit option, you can simply tap on the video that you wish to crop. And then if you slide the slider at the bottom towards the right, you will be able to find a transform feature. Just go ahead and tap on it. And now you can freely move around the canvas and resize it as well. You can use this feature to zoom into the canvas and you will be able to crop into your video. Simply use this feature to select the area that you want to crop into and make sure that only the area that you want to be visible is fitted inside the screen. Now you can go ahead and tap on the play button and now you can see that the area has been cropped to the area that you selected. You can tap on the split option to end your crop and then if you tap on the next video clip, you can simply zoom out and resize it back to normal. And there you have it. That is how easy it is to crop your videos on Video Leap. How to import music on Video Leap. So let's get started right away. First of all, just open up the Video Leap application and then log into your account if you haven't done so already. Then you can simply tap on the plus icon and work on a new project by opening up a video or tap on projects to work on your recent projects. Now, once you are inside a video where you want to import your music, just look at the bottom section and you will find audio. Go ahead and tap on it. And now you can select whether you want to add sound effects or a music. In order to import music, just tap on music. And now you can either use sound or music from Epidemic Sound Library by browsing through. Or you can also tap on My Music to add your own music from your phone. After you select your audio, the audio track will be added above the video. You can then slide it and adjust various settings on where you want this audio to play and at what level. You can also tap on volume and then adjust the volume level and use various other features such as audio speed and fading options. And there you have it. That is how easy it is to import music on Video Leap. How to make slow motion videos on Video Leap. So let's get started right away. First of all, just open up the Video Leap application and then log into your account if you haven't done so already by using your credentials. Now, once you are logged into your account, you can tap on the plus icon to work on a new video or tap on projects to go back to your recent work. Now, once you are on the edit menu, you can simply tap on the video that you want to have in slow motion. You can see when you tap the video that the speed is times one, which means it is in normal speed. In order to turn it into slow motion, you can simply scroll the various edit features towards the right and then tap on the speed option. Now, if you slide the slider towards the right, it will reduce the duration of the video, which means it will make it faster. 
but if you slide it towards the left, then it will make it much slower, which means this is where you want your slider to go. Now if you just give it a play, you will see that the video has been turned into slow motion. You can follow this process with any amount of clip that you want within your video, and it will make it slow motion in no time. And there you have it. That is how easy it is to turn your video's slow motion in Video Leap. How to remove audio from a video on Video Leap. So let's get started right away. First of all, just open up the Video Leap application and log into your account if you haven't done so already. Once you are logged in, you can either tap on the plus icon and work on a new project by selecting a video or tap on projects to work on your recent project. Now once you're inside the editing screen, in order to remove the audio, just go ahead and tap on the video on which you want to remove the audio. Now from the settings at the bottom, just scroll to the right and you will find audio. Go ahead and tap on it. Now you can find the mute button which you can tap on in order to remove the audio from the video. Now if you play it, you will see that there is no audio within the video. You can also remove the audio by using the volume tab and then turning it all the way to zero. And once you remove your audio, you can simply tap on the export button to export your video without the audio. And there you have it. That is how easy it is to remove audio on Video Leap. How to reverse a video on Video Leap. So let's get started right away. First of all, just open up the Video Leap application and then log into your account if you haven't done so already. Once you are logged in, you will be taken to this home page where you can tap on the plus icon at the middle to start working on a new video or open your recent projects from the project option from the bottom as well. Just open up the video that you want to work on and then you will be taken into the edit window. Now from this page, you can reverse any video that you want by simply tapping on the video clip and then from the options underneath, scroll to the right until you see reverse. You can simply tap on the reverse option and this will immediately begin reversing your video. Just wait for a while until the reversing process is completed and once you see 100%, your video will immediately be reversed. And now you can use this process for any number of clips that you want within your video. And there you have it. That is how easy it is to reverse your video on Video Leap. How to save your video on Video Leap. So let's get started right away. Let's just open up the Video Leap application and find a video to work on. You can just tap on the plus icon and then tap on new project to start working on your video and then you can select any video and tap on add to project. Now once you edit your video and you're satisfied with it, you can tap on the export button at the top right corner. From there, you can select your export settings. Tap on the export settings and you can select your resolution as well as the frame rate. Just select whichever option you want and then you can go back and tap on save video and this will begin exporting your project. Once the exporting is complete, your video will be saved to your galleries. And there you have it. That is how easy it is to save your videos on Video Leap. How to change the background of your videos on Video Leap. So let's get started right away. First of all, just open up the Video Leap application and log into your account if you haven't done so already by using your credentials. Once you have been logged into your account, simply tap on the plus icon to work on a new project and then import your videos to your project. Now once your video is imported, you can simply tap on the video and then tap on AI effects. Just remember that AI effects only works on videos shorter than 10 seconds for the free version of Video Leap. Now from this page, you will see various different options. In order to change your background, you can simply tap on AI scenes. Now this tab will detect your background and then apply various different kinds of scenes onto your background. Simply select your desired background change and then this will take some time until your video is adjusted to the new background. Just wait for a while until you can see the changes. And now you will be able to see that your background has been changed for your video. You can tap on the play button and see how the background change looks. Once you're satisfied, you can tap on the export button to export your video or try various different other kinds of background if you wish. And there you have it. That is how easy it is to change your background on Video Leap. How to remove watermarks on your video on Video Leap. So let's get started right away. First of all, just open up the Video Leap application and then log into your account if you haven't done so already. Once you log in, you can simply tap on the plus icon to create a new project or work on a recent one by tapping on projects. 
Once you open your video file to work on, just go ahead and make any of your desired edits into the video. Once you're satisfied with your edit and you need to export your video, you can simply tap on the export button at the top right corner. Now within the export option, you will see the watermark tab at the top. You can simply turn this off by tapping on the off button and then export your video by tapping on export settings. After setting up your settings, you can simply go back and then tap on save video after turning off watermark. You might be shown an advertisement that will allow you to export without using the watermark. And with this, you will be able to remove watermarks on your video leap application. But this will only work if you are within the seven day trial period. How to speed up a video on video leap. So let's get started right away. First of all, just tap on the video leap application and open it up. If you haven't logged into your account, then just go ahead and log in using your credentials. Now you can tap on the plus icon to start working on a new project or open your recent project from projects. Once you open up the video that you want to work on, you can just tap on the video that you want to speed up. As you can see, it says that the speed is times one. Once you tap on the video, you can simply scroll the options at the bottom section to the right until you see the speed feature. Just go ahead and tap on speed and then you can use the slider to either increase or decrease your video speed. Scroll the slider to the right until you get your desired speed. You can tap on the play button and see how the video looks. Once you're satisfied with your video speed, you can simply tap on the back button and your speed will be saved. You can do this with any number of clips that you want. And there you have it. That is how easy it is to speed up your video on Video Leap. How to trim a video on Video Leap. So let's get started right away. First of all, let's just open up the Video Leap application and log in to your account. Once you log in, you might be shown various contents, but you can just tap on the plus icon and then tap on new project to start editing your new video. Once you select your video that you want to edit, just tap on the add to project button. And now you will be taken into the editor screen. Now, if you wish to trim a video, just use the slider to slide to the point where you want to trim your video. Once you get to the point where you want to split your video, just tap on the split icon right at the middle underneath the timeline. Now, as you can see, this has split the video into two parts. Now, you can follow this step to trim anywhere you want, and then you can tap on the part that you don't want, and then long press on it and move it to the trash. This will remove the part that you don't want. Once you are done trimming, you can tap on the export button and then save your video by tapping on save video. And there you have it. That is how easy it is to trim your video on Video Leap. How to unsubscribe someone on Video Leap. So let's get started right away. First of all, if you open up the Video Leap application and sign into your account, you will be shown various videos that have been made using this application. If you like the content that is created by someone, you can simply tap on their profile. And when you open up their profile, you will find the follow button. You can simply tap on it to subscribe to this person. And now you will be added as their subscriber. In case you want to unsubscribe or unfollow, you can simply tap on the unfollow button and now you will no longer follow or subscribe to this person. You can use the subscribe or follow feature to follow creators whose content you would want to see in the future. And you can do this for any user of the Video Leap application. And there you have it. That is how easy it is to unsubscribe on Video Leap. If you find this video helpful, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already. Also ring that notification bell to never miss another update from us. Thank you for watching and I will see you again in the next video.